From CBS News, it's The Early Show with Harry Smith, Hannah Storm, Julie Chen, Renee Seiler, and Dave Price. Starting up a brand new day. Live from Fifth Avenue in New York. All right. Uh, also, uh, cashmere, you know, cashmere sweater it used to be a luxury, but now, of course, you can find them at, at all kinds of major chain stores, and they're at bargain prices. So we're going to give you some cashmere buying tips. And our own Dave Price got a... Also ahead, shopping for cashmere. There are a lot of affordable cashmere sweaters in stores lately, but are they the real deal? We're going to take a look and have some buying tips for you. Despite its luxury image, cashmere has become very affordable as retail chains like Target and J. Crew offer less expensive styles. In today's Simple Solutions, Chris Connell from Real Simple Magazine shows us what to look for and what you need to know before buying. Chris, hi, hi welcome Renee. back. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, so give us a, a primer, if you will, on, on cashmere. What is it? Why is it so expensive? All right, well, cashmere it is a natural fiber that comes from the hair and the underbelly of cashmere goats. And these goats live in mountainous regions. Not so much of it comes from cashmere anymore. A lot of it comes from Inner Mongolia. They live in these mountainous regions, so it keeps you extremely warm. And the reason it can be so expensive is that it's a very labor-intensive task uh -huh. for the highest quality to actually comb that hair So they're combing off. the hair off of exactly. the underbelly of the goats as opposed to just you know, shearing it off. That happens in some cases. But mm -hmm. you think about it, it takes four to six goats, the hair of four to six goats, to make one sweater. Wow. So that's where the price can come in. But it's not all expensive these days. Yeah, because you can go into Target, or, yep. or Kohl's or what have you and get a cashmere sweater. Right. This is one that is from Target. It's Isaac Mizrahi and this is only $40. And we think it's a steal, but you, things that you're going to be realizing is that it may pill a little bit faster than others. Yeah, because it's already fuzzy. Right, you can see that's something you can see right away. It's a little bit fuzzy and then probably what's happened here is instead of using the longest hairs that would have been combed out, it has been shorn. It has been a shearing process. And, so and shorter hairs will create pills. And can people take a look here because it's, uh, it's got a real wide um, knit right. here, like which, you were just saying. Which can all lead to it. Yeah. So that's why it's that price. But you know, for a season, Isaac Mizrahi, sure. it's, a, it's a good deal. So because it's a, a wider knit, it won't hold its shape as well, right? Is that sort uh, of the deal? To some degree, yeah. 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 Uh, this is sort of the next range, ones that are between $100 and $200 from J. Crew, mm -hmm. from Land's End, which really adhere to very high standards. But you might get a price break here because they're producing so many of them that their production costs are a little bit lower, and they can pass that on to the consumer. I feel like you can really see a difference between these two sweaters even right, just just look right you know, in terms of the, the fuzz this one the doesn't nap. have as much mm -hmm. it's not as fuzzy exactly so yeah once you get the hang of it you really Oops. start to know what to be looking for all and right when you start to spend a little bit more money yeah because yeah. there's a big jump in price from here to here and right you feel it you can really you feel, feel the softness here. of it so now we're in the range of, of two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars this oh, is gosh, from a company it's called so my and AI and this one is from Isle of Sky which I I can't rave enough about it came wrapped in lavender scented paper and a uh, gift card it was amazing but what you want to look for here are a couple of things um, you want to check the label when you're buying something that's so a little bit these more are expensive. things when you're buying you're buying good cashmere you wanted the first tip is to check the label because you're looking for what make sure that it says 100% cashmere because it could be a blend so if it was billed as cashmere make sure you look and see and another thing to see is what ply is it is it two ply and sometimes you can look and see whether it's a single ply or multiple but another good way, you know how sometimes they have the little repair kit that right. comes with it? Take a look at this string. Okay. I'll stretch it out. And you can see that it's more than one string. It's two strings woven together. Right. And that's going to give you some sturdiness, and it's going to prevent some pilling and, um, and also create fewer holes. You said do it. Touch test. What touch uh, test. is it? Just we're just seeing if it feels good. Well, it's a couple of things. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> if you, touch if up here by the shoulder, Chris. <laughs> Make it if safer. You, if you rub your hand over it, if it feels slippery in any way, it's something that it's probably going to lose its shape. And you mm. mentioned that about a sweater that yeah, you had. Yeah, yeah. It'll lose shape easily if it feels slippery. It means it's overprocessed. Oh. And uh, another thing to be feeling, if it just feels kind of fuzzy right off the bat. 
it's going to peel faster. Uh huh. Like like what we saw at the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had a cashmere sweater on yesterday, right. and I noticed at the end of the day it had already yeah. you know lost exactly. some, some of and the shape tight in the knit sleeves. You want to yeah. be looking for as well. I love this one. I now, know. of course, again, we've gone from here to here, which is a really big jump. This is over four hundred dollars. This, this one is four hundred and forty dollars. This is an investment from piece, as white my husband horn. says. Right, but it's cozy. I've had a white horn one for for five years, and it's yeah. in great shape. This is from Say. You want to look for brands that you trust, brands that are known for making great cashmere like these. Also, expect you know all the things that we talked about of the tight knit and. Um, the double ply and also vivid colors because that means they started with the purest cashmere fibers. It's beautiful. And these are great colors. Yeah, and if it comes with a little brush and you have to brush yeah. your sweater, it's a little too much work for me, but for some, <laughs> perhaps. Chris Connell, real simple, good to see you in your cashmere, keeping yeah. your baby bundle warm. I'll be busting out of this next week, though. <laughs> good to see you. See ya. All right. Now here's Anna. Thanks, Renee. It began simply.